I'm Dr. Sadhakar Tumaluri, and this is Safnello, steroid tapering and flare data. Safnello, an erolumab injection for intravenous use, is indicated for adults with moderate to severe SLE who are receiving standard therapy. Safnello is not recommended for patients with severe active lupus nephritis or severe active central nervous system lupus. Please watch the complete video for additional important safety information. The efficacy and safety of Safnello was evaluated in three 52-week multi-center randomized double-blind placebo-controlled studies. TULIP-1 and TULIP-2 were phase 3 studies and MUSE was a phase 2b study. In this video, we will focus on TULIP-2. The primary endpoint in TULIP-2 was the proportion of patients achieving a reduction in disease activity at 52 weeks as measured by the Bicla composite endpoint. Safnello plus standard therapy demonstrated statistically significant and clinically meaningful efficacy in overall disease activity compared to standard therapy alone, with greater improvements in all components of the Bicla composite endpoint. In TULIP-1, the primary endpoint of SRI4 did not result in statistical significance. In TULIP-2, standard therapy for patients with moderate to severe SLE included antimalarials, immunosuppressants, NSAIDs, and or oral corticosteroids. In TULIP-2, a key secondary endpoint was corticosteroid reduction to target dose sustained from weeks 40 to 52. Steroid tapering was implemented between weeks 8 and 40 for patients receiving a baseline oral steroid dosage of at least 10 mg per day until a dosage of 7.5 mg or less per day was achieved. This steroid reduction had to be sustained from week 40 to week 52. The results showed that in addition to experiencing a reduction in disease activity, significantly more patients in the subgroup who received Safnello achieved and maintained a lower steroid dose versus standard therapy alone. Among the patients with a baseline oral steroid use at or greater than 10 mg per day, Safnello demonstrated a statistically significant difference in the proportion of patients able to reduce oral steroid use by at least 25% at week 40 and sustained through week 52. In fact, 72% more patients on Safnello were able to reduce their steroid dose to less than or equal to 7.5 mg per day versus standard therapy alone. According to published literature, Persistent use of 7.5 mg or more per day can lead to irreversible organ damage. Reviewing the steroid usage brings to mind flare data. In TULIP2, the annual flare rate was reduced in patients receiving Safnello compared to those who received standard therapy alone. Specifically, there was a 33% reduction in risk of flares. The difference was not statistically significant. And in a post hoc subgroup analysis of those patients in TULIP2 who had achieved and sustained a reduced steroid dose, approximately 8 out of 10 had no flares. Let's now look at the safety profile of Safnello 300 mg, which was established in three clinical trials with a diverse population involving more than 1,000 patients. The table here shows adverse reactions occurring in two or more percent of patients on Safnello 300 mg in the SLE clinical trial program at 52 weeks. The most commonly reported adverse reactions were upper respiratory tract infections, bronchitis, infusion-related reactions, herpes zoster, cough, respiratory tract infections, and hypersensitivity. For patients with moderate to severe SLE receiving standard therapy that require disease control with a lower steroid burden, consider Safnello. The only approved biologic indicated in this SLE population to demonstrate statistically significant reduction in the overall disease activity, demonstrate a statistically significant difference in the proportion of patients able to reduce oral steroid use, and numerically reduce flares as shown in this review of the TULIP2 study. Next. Let's review the additional important safety information for Safnello. Important safety information. Contraindication. Safnello is contraindicated in patients with a known history of anaphylaxis. Warnings and precautions. Serious infections. 
Serious and sometimes fatal infections have occurred in patients receiving immunosuppressive agents, including Safnello. Safnello increases the risk of respiratory infections and herpes zoster. Use caution in patients with severe or chronic infections. Avoid initiating treatment during an active infection and consider interrupting therapy in patients who develop a new infection during treatment. Hypersensitivity reaction, including anaphylaxis. Serious hypersensitivity reactions, including anaphylaxis, have been reported following Safnello administration. Events of angioedema have also been reported. Other hypersensitivity reactions and infusion-related reactions have occurred following administration of Safnello. Safnello should be administered by healthcare providers prepared to manage hypersensitivity reactions, including anaphylaxis and infusion-related reactions, if they occur. Immediately interrupt administration and initiate appropriate therapy if a serious infusion-related or hypersensitivity reaction, for example, anaphylaxis, occurs. Malignancy. There is an increased risk of malignancies with the use of immunosuppressants. The impact of Safnello on the potential development of malignancies is not known. Immunization. Avoid the use of live or live attenuated vaccines in patients treated with Safnello. Use with biologic therapies. Safnello is not recommended for use in combination with other biologic therapies, including B-cell targeted therapies. Adverse reactions. The most common adverse reactions, incidence greater than or equal to 5%, are nasopharyngitis, upper respiratory tract infections, bronchitis, infusion-related reactions, herpes zoster, and cough. In the controlled clinical trials, the incidence of infusion-related reactions was 9.4% in patients while on treatment with Safnello and 7.1% in patients on placebo. Infusion-related reactions were mild to moderate in intensity. The most common symptoms were headache, nausea, vomiting, fatigue, and dizziness. Use in specific populations. Pregnancy. A pregnancy exposure registry monitors pregnancy outcomes in women exposed to Safnello during pregnancy. For more information about the registry or to report a pregnancy while on Safnello, contact AstraZeneca at 1-877-693-9268. There are insufficient data on the use of Safnello in pregnant women to establish whether there is drug-associated risk for major birth defects or miscarriage. Advise female patients to inform their healthcare provider if they intend to become pregnant during therapy, suspect they are pregnant, or become pregnant while receiving Safnello. Lactation. No data are available regarding the presence of Safnello in human milk, the effects on the breastfed child, or the effects on milk production. Pediatric use. The safety and efficacy of Safnello in pediatric patients less than 18 years of age has not been established. Please see full prescribing information, including patient information, at www.safnello.com forward slash HCP.